I want a munch. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast within the podcast detailing the latest and greatest in brand eating. Uh, rather than go back into the time machine, we've got I've got a trio of new small munch squad stories to share with oh, you. Oh god. Um the first has is not thematically tied to the other two, but I did want to share it with you. Uh this is about bang energy. Um about what? Uh, and what's that? Bang energy. It's an energy drink. Okay. They got a new flavor. It's a mouthwatering, ultra delicious. This is thanks to Katie, by the way, who sent this in. Uh, mouthwatering and ultra delicious Radical Skedaddle Ooh. by Bang Energy. The name Radical tells the story <laughs> this new flavor is extraordinary, while the Skedaddle will literally make your tongue rattle. Huh. After simply skipping Radical Skedaddle, you'll feel the vibes of beating drums, okay. electric guitars, and rock music flowing through your brains and pulsating through your veins. Wait, what? With the new Rad Scad flavor launch, rock and roll was the goal and cutting edge nutrition was the vision. Whoa. It's easy as fishing when ambition drives the mission. Holy shit! That's Jack Oak, Bang Energy CEO, who seems to be, <gasps> in my <gasps> uh, humble amateur opinion, I have no, no, no information about a bad person. <laughs> seems to be a bad person. Hey, um, just real quick, just uh, I want to get a quick poll of the three people on this call. Do you think... Do you think Bang Energy doesn't know what the word skedaddle means? Uh, yeah, I think that that's fair. Okay, because they're trying to spin from... it like it's like rock and roll. Well, that's not at all <laughs> what I get when I, okay. I see like maybe a little scamp whose baby- hey, Skedaddle makes your tongue rattle. Okay. Uh, Jack also said, we don't, make, uh, we don't make people want our products. Bang Energy makes products people want. Huh. Bang, we don't huh. make people- It's interesting. Okay. Bang, Bang Energy. Anyway, that was wild. Uh, maybe that's why I've never heard of Bang Energy. Okay. Me to the future. KFC uh, is 3D bioprinting uh, nuggets in Russia. Good. Huh. Just want to share everybody with that. There, uh, It's a 3D meat of the future printing thing. Hmm. Uh, the project aims to create the world's first laboratory produced chicken nuggets. They'll be as close as possible in both taste and appearance to the original KFC product while being more environmentally friendly to produce than the ordinary meat. Badass. Receiving a final product for testing is already being planned for the fall of 2020. In Moscow, this uses chicken cells and plant matter to create lab-grown chicken nuggets. Where do they get like the KFC. chicken cells? It doesn't harm chickens. Chickens, I think, give them freely. Maybe it's hair. <laughs> they have lots Maybe of cells. They have so many cells. Beard. Maybe it's beard trimmings. Mm, Bio meat has the same micro elements as the original product, while excluding various additives that are used in traditional farming and animal husbandry creating a cleaner final product. Cell-based meat products are also more ethical. The production process does not cause any harm to animals. KFC remains committed to continuous improvement in animal welfare from the farm through all aspects of our supply chain, including raising, handling, transportation, processing. Beheading is not listed there, but I'm assuming <laughs> that's taken at face value. Yeah. Uh, at KFC, we're closely monitoring all the latest trends and innovations and are doing our best to keep up with the times by introducing advanced technologies to our restaurant networks. So this is a, a race by KFC uh, to produce a more environmentally friendly chicken nugget so we can all, you know, uh, thank you to Carolina, by the way, for sending that one in. Um, so we can all enjoy, you know, a safer, f uh, more sustainable Chicken nugget, we're working together. And then uh, to to do that, a lot of work and energy is going into it just to make it, you know, a little less of an impact on the planet. I think that's uh, cool. I do think they're missing an opportunity if they are 3D printing this stuff to make it in a way cooler shape. Like, for instance, just one very, very, very long rope. Like a long, yeah. like a like a chicken spindle. So I just want to, I, I, I think it's great that they're putting all this effort into a more sustainable product more humane products we can all eat chicken and you know feel feel a little bit better about it there's one more story here i want to share from john central florida pdq locations to offer milkshake on monday with blended chicken tenders <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> 
<laughs> on on Monday only, guests can order their chicken tender hand spun shake, which con- <sighs> contains vanilla ice cream and a whole chicken tender oh. blended up inside of it. Fucking in Russia, people are are racing against the clock to save our bedraggled planet oh. by coming up with plant based 3D printed chicken tenders. In Florida, they're fucking jamming them into blenders almost as fast as they can produce them. This is why we need sustainable chicken tenders is because PDQ is fucking jamming them into blenders. Can I, it, I I I consider myself a pretty with it dude. Yeah. Is this a thing people were asking for? I've never heard of this. Like I've never heard of like, oh man, you like that milkshake? Well, you haven't really enjoyed it till you've put a chicken tender in it. Well, Trev, I'm glad you mentioned that. PDQ's chief marketing officer uh said in this article, our guests love our craveable fresh chicken tenders and our delicious hand spun shakes. This shake combines the amazing flavors oh, in both. Oh boy. Oh. You motherfucker. This reporter who gets bonus points, bonus points to Dave Plotkin for for asking the hard questions is like it, basically like, is it fucking whack? Because it sounds whack. It sounds absolutely terrible. The quote that they got that uh, that Dave got back was. We have heard from our guests that they love our hand breaded chicken tenders. And they also love our hand spun milkshakes. So what better combination to celebrate National Chicken Tender Day. You mother, just, you can't. It's three ninety nine. That's a good deal. There's gonna be chunks in like, what are you, are you doing that's straw? The, that's you doing... the plan, bud. Yeah, but I, get... is it a spoon thing? Oh, like... there's another, there's another chicken tender on top. Yeah. Fuck. Travis, you. who is this, who is this imaginary person that you have cre- that you have breathed life into this into the ether who says, "Yeah, let me get one of those um I guess uh it's going to be either a hamburger or the chicken tender milkshake." You know what? I'll do the chicken tender milkshake. And then gets it back to the table and takes a big bite and is like, "Hey, there's a chunk in this." <laughs> no, I'm not I'm sending I'm not chicken upset. tender milkshake back. No, I'm talking about just consumability, Griffin. What is what is the method? Because this would have to be spoon, right? Because a chunk of of chicken ain't going up a straw. This is not a straw drink. Um, I assume it'll be placed at your tomb with you, like an Egyptian pharaoh's cats. Uh, the Dave writes, uh, the small size of this monstrosity is three ninety nine, <laughs> and the regular size is five twenty nine. Now, Justin, was there a little editorial? Was there editorializing in there? Justin? No, I'm reading from Dave's story. <laughs> it's in OrlandoWeekly.com. Find it. The small size of this monstrosity is three ninety nine, and the regular size is five twenty nine. And there is no large because there is truly no justice in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Have oh, we heard yeah. from Dave before? I feel like we've heard from Dave before. It's possible we've heard from Dave before. Uh, I do like. I wish there was a large because I like the person's like. I'm gonna order this and I'm gonna commit. <laughs> I really, <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and put I'm a gonna... biscuit and maybe some like salt and sugar packets or whatever in there too? Just swirl it all up. Swirl it all up. Anyway, that's the Munch Squad. Sorry to take up so much of your time with it this week, but I just thought that those those stories were really a really nice pairing. Almost as nice a pairing as hand spun milkshakes and chicken tenders.